very passionate dog, you know? It's the... Oh, oh! The show started last year, so this is our second year, and um, it started last year because one of the festival committee decided that a dog show, we hadn't had a dog show in Belmullet, and it would be a useful thing to put into the festival. The dog's name is Bernie. He's, um, a tw he's actually 14 months old. A lot of the typical names were Beethoven and everything like the rest, you know, that they would call the same partner. So I decided just to shorten a bit out of his, uh, out of his name, just take the saint and the bit at the end of it, yeah. Because he's definitely not a saint anyway, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. A process of elimination, Jane wasn't too impressed with calling any girly names because of she-dog, so we just stuck with Charlie. <laughs> my dog's name is Paddy, he's a poodle, a toy poodle. Actually, my mother depicted it, it was her late husband. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating a Jaffa cake when he arrived, so I thought I'd go for Jaffa. <laughs> so really, I have seen a lot of dogs that do look like their like their owners, especially an older man with a bulldog and they have those scrunched up his. <laughs> and you might get a dog with bug teeth or something. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Maybe today now is quite possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I definitely do. Apart from my hope, I don't ever look like Jaffa. <laughs> Even though I wouldn't mind because he's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> well, they say live like monkeys, grow like monkeys. So the more the longer you spin with your dog, the more you end up looking like them. <laughs> There were some very good dogs here today. Um, what's most important at a show like this, more so than the standard of the dog, is how well kept the dog is, how well groomed the dog is, and most importantly of all, is the temperament of the dog. And the majority of dogs here today had a fantastic temperament. He'll kiss you passionately. Kiss me. He's a very passionate dog, you know? The... I don't know about men now, but it's a women's best friend sometimes. <laughs> They're a great company, they don't talk back to you. Mind you, they don't buy you any drink, but... <laughs> yeah, I'd say a dog has always been man's best friend. You can always depend on the dog. Um, the wife will kick you out and the dog will probably leave you, leave you into his kennel. <laughs>